Hi everyone. This series of videos will give brief critiques of each one of the photographs you submitted for your assignments last week. So just to review, uh, I asked you to take one photograph where you are using blurring to uh, create your image and a second photograph where you freeze up things. I also asked you to resize your image to 4 inches by 6 inches at 300 pixels per inch. And then finally, I wanted everyone to do this assignment without using your flash. So uh, here's Ashley's work. She's first on deck here. And um, beautiful blurring shot. We've got these wonderful chaotic bursts of light in the background. Very much reminds me of a, a mall parking lot in the middle of a uh, busy shopping night, whether that's before Christmas or just uh, a busy Friday night. I think it very much conveys the mood, the feeling, the emotion, the uh, kind of frenzy of the moment. I think that's very well done. I do have uh, two pretty significant issues with uh, this issue, this photograph though. If we go in Photoshop under the menu, under File, and File Info, we can actually bring up a window that tells us some information about the settings that were on the camera when the photograph was shot. And uh, in this instance, we see this, um, this shutter speed was one second. The f-stop was four, which are both good things. An ISO of 200, fantastic, so far so good. But then we see down here the flash was fired. So there was a flash on this photograph. And really, the flash is complicating the issue here. Uh, and we're going to find in her next photograph also the flash was fired. So please uh, do not use your flash in your um, uh, picture taking for any of the assignments for this semester unless for some specific reason I do ask you to take your images with the flash. Uh, Ashley, second image here, uh, picture of the dog. Absolutely love the vantage point. You got down low, you're looking directly into the dog's eyes. Uh, the dog kind of has attitude that sort of aggressive eye-to-eye -eye look, um, especially with a tiny dog like this. I think, it, again, it kind of conveys the personality of the dog uh, very well rather than, you know, getting up high and shooting down on the dog. This eye-to-eye -eye look really works for it. Again, we were supposed to blur things and uh, the blurring really is, is not due to a fast shutter on here. It's due to the strobe going off. And if you see that the dog kind of looks, I don't know, it almost looks like a cutout or it's flattened out uh, up against the background. That is just a telltale sign of a flash. So I, again, want to remind everybody to not use your flash on your images uh, because it is going to kind of give you this poster look to things. And um, it's uh, not necessarily always the best look to have. So uh, with that said, that is Ashley's work for this week. And uh, next on deck here, we have Brianna's work in her first image. We've got uh, what looks like some snowflakes or uh, some sort of uh, uh, precipitation in the air that is being frozen as it's coming out. Uh, looks like the model here is, is either blowing those or she's spitting it out. Is that what's going on there? Uh, whatever the case is there, I uh, think we have definitely have some freezing up of the... Uh, subject here, so I think you got that part of the assignment pretty well down. If we look at um, our settings here, our shutter speed is a little over 1 hundredth of a second, which is uh, where we'd want it to be. So good job on that. And then the second image here, which is our blur shot, looks like a hamster or some sort of pet in the cage. Again, I think you did a good job with the blur. Um, everything is uh, frozen except for the, uh, the uh, mouse that's running around here. So you did a good job there. I think the only problem I, I really have is that the blurring is so extreme in the, uh, the little critters actions that we really can't tell whether it's a mouse or a rat or a bunny or whatever. So maybe play around with that shutter speed just a teeny bit on that, and otherwise I think you nailed it. 